Vulnerable, destitute and desperate for help, this toilet has been home for this 16-year-old and his 14-year-old little brother. Dashek bent down two years ago, forcing them to seek shelter in the only structure that survived the fire, a toilet. The toilet soon became unsafe due to recent downpours and they had to move. The boys have been on survival mode. If my mom was alive, I would finish the school and get the job and take care of her and my siblings. Neighbors say they are aware of siblings' dire situation, but they too are struggling to make ends meet. Tiriso stayed there for two weeks. He came back with chains on his legs and hands. I wish as Marantin community is for these kids to be offered a shack. The Northern Cape Social Development Department says it's aware of the boys' plight and is paying attention to it. We will try and unify them or alternatively seek a solution whereby uh, both children, uh, the boys in question, will be housed in a safe environment and we will ensure that their rights are protected. Local councillors have been alerted about the boys' situation and they've since promised some action to help them. For now, the two siblings continue to live in squalor until help comes their way. Motalipule Morake, SABC News, Maranteng in the Northern Cape.